If you're new here, I'm Chiffon and it's pronounced like the material and let's get this weekend vlog started. <sighs> Y'all, I literally just returned from Pittsburgh yesterday and tomorrow I am headed to DC, well the DMV area. So you know, DC, Maryland, VA, like that whole area there. So I just got done packing. Um, and y'all, give this video a thumbs up already, okay? If you made it to this video, already gives it a give it a thumbs up if you like it, and subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed. But anywho, I packed my clothes, um, and yeah, for all the DC festivities, I'm spending New Year's there, so I'm super excited. I'm not doing anything crazy. It's going to be more of like relaxation, trying new restaurants. I'm trying a new hotel. It's called the Archer Hotel. I've never stayed at Archer Hotel. There's quite a few, but not that many. Like, there's not that many as like a Hilton or a Marriott. Um, so, yeah, I'm excited to try the new hotel. Right here, you'll see my cow pack. I love traveling with this thing. Ugh, I put all of my, like, toiletry stuff. Like, toiletry, y'all see my uh, sleepy tie in there. Um, my makeup rig in there. My makeup eraser rack, but all my toiletry stuff in here, like lotion, perfume, my dust soap that I carry because I need that for my dry sensitive eczema prone skin. I can't use like the soap at hotel, so I bring my own soap. And then on this side is like my skincare stuff. So uh, my makeup, my lotion, my face oil, beauty blenders, brushes, all like that. So let me see. Oh yeah, I'm gonna make sure y'all ain't seen nothing crazy. And of course, you know, my deodorant, I got, um, you know, sanitary stuff just in case, like, you know, won't catch me slipping or none of my girls slipping. So I'm always prepared for if anybody needs anything. And uh, yeah, I love it so much. I don't go anywhere without it. And it just compacts a lot of stuff that I have in this thing. And that way I'm always able to take a carry on because when I pack, I pack super light. And I think it's because I'm so used to transitioning, like moving a lot during my, um, sorry y'all, during my, I think I swallowed some air, but during my, okay, sorry, excuse me. I don't know what's choking me up. But during my training, I moved a lot. So I've learned to really travel light. And so I make sure I only bring enough outfits for the day. And I may, be, may bring like one or two extra outfits. And of course, I always pl pack plenty of underwears. <laughs> like when I pack underwear, underwears, I double the amount I need. Like if I'm staying for three days, I'm going to bring like seven or eight underwears. I don't know, something my mom taught me. So I keep on with that. And I'm gonna bring the, same, the specific amount of days of outfits I'm gonna wear, maybe one or two. So yeah, I did all that, all that packing. I'm actually, I think I gotta pack a skirt because a skirt that I wore in Pittsburgh, I had to wash and I'm wearing that in DC because it's cute. So yeah. So, Tonight, I had washed my hair because, um, you know, it's the new year. I wanted to come in with a new hair wash. My hair is fresh. I'm going on a cute little date. So I wanted to look cute. So I got my edges twisted up here. I put some moisturizer on them and I just twisted them up. I wanted to try eyeshadow. So I'm going to a restaurant tomorrow and I'm excited to try out. And I wanted to look cute. So I got the this cute dress that was $15 from H&M, y'all. I bought it on my last vlog. And I wanted to do something special, so I wanted to wear some eyeshadow. So I'm actually going to practice a smoky eye on myself before tomorrow. So to decide if I'm really going to commit to doing the smoky eye. And that way, I ain't in the middle of the day and then it looks crazy and I'm running out of time. Like, I don't want to be that girl. I want to be ready. So I am going to use this palette. Wifey. The Wifey palette. Um, can y'all see? Oh, I don't know why. 
Let's see if that does so. This is the Wifey palette from Dose of Colors and Makeup Shayla. So my aunt got me this for Christmas and it got great colors in it. So it has a mirror on there and then it has nice neutral colors but I, that I feel like I would actually use. So these colors here and then like glittery stuff. I'm not going to use any glittery stuff. I don't know, maybe if I want to make it, uh, make it a little spicy. But I'm going to use this color. No, this and this color right now because I'm going to brown it out. Yeah. I am going to use the Rare Beauty um, primer. So I've used this primer before and I used her shadow, which is cute. It's the liquid shadow. Let me show y'all. Cause I'm a shadow beginner. So I don't even use like shadow powder. So I have used this one from, from Rare Beauty. This is the Nearly Neutral Liquid Eye Shadow. I really liked it. I made a whole video on this. And then I also grabbed these pencils from the Sephora collection. So this is the Sephora um, Ombre Crayon Shadow and Light Liners. So I got these colors here and I really like them. I, and these are all like kind of shimmery. The only matte one I got, I feel like I got another one. Oh yeah. So I got this black, this matte brown one and I didn't really care for this one too much because it didn't go on as smooth as these ones. And these ones are like, see how it's, it's kind of like shimmery a little bit. Yeah, so um, not shimmery, but like, I got not shimmery, but it's just the formula is different. See how there's shine on there? So these ones went on very smooth, but I wanted to do, this is a cute one too. This is a brown copper. This is cute. So I wanted to do a smoky eye and I might put a little glitter on it. We'll see. So let me put this primer on. But yeah, so I'm an eyeshadow beginner. Um, like, that's it. I don't really don't wear eyeshadow. I just use those pencils and those pencils really like do the job for me. And they're so easy to use. It's literally like writing on yourself. So it's, and they are very easy to blend. So me trying to use these shadows, we'll see what happens. And y'all, disclaimer, I'm a beginner eyeshadow wear. So, yeah. So, I washed this tutorial and it was an easy one. I used two colors, a black and a brown. And it started off with a black. So, I'm going to use this color. And that is seating chart. And so, the girl said... That might be too big. So I'm gonna use this brush. So the girl, oh wow, that was a lot of product. I dabbed it like two times. So the girl said, go, start in the middle. And it, cause if you start up here, you're gonna look like you got a, like you got soccer punch in the eye. <laughs> so let's start on the middle. Okay, um, so hopefully it get better, but I'm feeling real raccoony right now. You ever see those black dresses that's like shimmery? They always do it for New Year's Eve, like that type of shimmer. So it's kind of like silverly, silvery. My shoes are silver actually too. So I feel like all of these are kind of like brownish silvers but i feel like if i had to do a shiver sh silver one it would be this yeah. one so i look cute with my glasses on <laughs> but i added more of the brown into the crease i feel like the more i add the brown the more it looks like better 
I feel like tomorrow, if I decide to go with this, I'm not gonna add as much black. So instead of putting the black on this whole part here, I might just stop it right here and do the, do the rest brown. And I feel like now that I add that shimmer on it, it's giving more of like a gray instead of like a black. And I wanted it to be black. So I'm, but the fact, the crazy thing is this matches my dress, like this shadow. So maybe I'll keep it like that. That might be a look. I don't know. Hey y'all, so I finally made it to the hotel. So this is the Archer Hotel, Hotel. so it's spelled A-R-C-H-E-R. -E um, so this is the Falsh Church location. There's another location that's not too far away. It's the one in Tyson's, but um, I'm staying at this one. And this hotel is beautiful, y'all. So let me give y'all a tour. Y'all, I'm tired. It's still eight something in the morning. So this is the door coming in, nothing special, but what is cute, is this umbrella hair and this little coat rack. And then um, removing cord key turns power off. Wow, that's cute. Okay, so this is the bathroom. Let me turn the light on. Okay, so here's an overall look. It's looking real clean. This is the Vera. It's a cute Vera. Mm, can't wait to get dressed in that mirror or do my makeup. This is the bathroom. It's a glass shower. There it is. So just nice and clean. Let's see what products they use. Never heard of that brand before, but I really like the concrete walls in this bathroom. I would like something like that for my home. I like that, like, earthy type of feel. All right, so there's, first of all, this beautiful mirror with the good lighting. Then there's the closet. I always get nervous opening up closets because you don't know what's going to be in there. Okay, so it's a regular closet. <laughs> and they have um, a rope. So it has an A on there, probably for the orchard. And the brand... That's the brand. Okay, so. And overall, this is the room. Like, it's cute. Y'all. It's cute. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Then that's the TV, y'all. Nothing special about just a regular TV. I mean, it looks nice. <laughs> um, here's all the amenity, like all the extra stuff. Sparkling. Oh, it's five dollars. That's cool. Uh, what else? It is our pleasure. Oh, that's cute. Okay, this is great for them to leave a pencil and all this to write stuff on when you want to leave something, like a note for someone. So I'm gonna do that. They have a, oh, look at that. <laughs> Not an espresso. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm definitely going to try these. I don't know how to use it. So I'm definitely going to have to read these instructions. Wow. An espresso in the room. That's crazy. Cute. Um, what else? And then they actually gave us two bottles of water y'all so we ain't gonna be thirsty and two little treats locally made salted caramels mm, I'm gonna try that and I like this ah oh, detailing all right so here is the outside of the room so I already looked at the view um, well, kind of. I lifted up a little bit. But there's someone's balcony there. So, I guess some rooms have a balcony. But I don't got one. But it's cool. It's cool anyways. But there ain't much of a view. Like, it, I guess I'm on the back. Actually, it's not the back. Because this is the front side of the hotel. And I see Anthropology. And that over there says Lux Nail Lounge. I might hop over there and get a pedicure. 
But yeah, this seems like a good area for shopping. I'm definitely gonna go to Target to get some things. But yeah. Hey y'all, so it is, what is today? Today is Friday? Or is it? Yes, today's Friday. So I am trying to hurriedly, hurriedly get ready for dinner. So I am going to the, it's called the bed, the dirty habit glass house. Um, something like that. I'll put the name of the restaurant across the screen or at least show you guys once I get there. But I'm throwing some curls on the ends, ends of my hair just to like spice it up a bit because my ends are just straight and I wanted some like pizzazz. So that's what I'm trying to hurry up and do. And this curl on there that I have, where did I get this from? This, I'm sure this is EAP. -E. Yeah, e -A -E -A -P, P. And I have it on 370. Do I? Yeah, 370. So these are the curls. And then these are my ends right now. I just straightened my hair yesterday. So yeah, and then I'll put in, um, I'll show, show y'all my outfit in a second, but I have the, a dress that I got on from H&M, y'all. It is, it was $14.99, like so cute. And it has that like material, like New Year's Eve dress type of material. Like, y'all see that? That shiny material. And then the shoes I have on, what is this from? Ego. Shiny too. And then they're super comfy. And then I'm wearing this bag that actually isn't like a purse. It's from Merit Beauty. It's one of their makeup bags that I got from an item that was gifted to me. And then makeup came with this makeup bag. It's like a suede material. So I thought it would go perfect with my outfit. And y'all, I was too scared to do the um, eyeshadow because I don't know, I just didn't wanna, I just wanted to make sure that I look cute tonight. Hey y'all, so I'm getting ready to go out for dinner tonight and this is my outfit of the night. So I have this, this super cute dress on from H&M and guess how much it costs? $14.99. Like, isn't this so cute? Here's the back. And um, it's like that New Year's Eve type of dress material. So this is the color and like, you know, that material, but it's really comfy for $14.99, girl. Um, my bag is from Mara Beauty. So Mara Beauty is a beauty brand, but when they gifted me some product, they um, gave me this makeup bag with it, and I'm using it as a real bag. Like, it has that suede material. It looks linty on the camera, but it's not that linty in real life, y'all. But it's so cute, it just ties in a knot. And then my shoes are from Ego. Cute. And then my scent for the night is the Valentino. Smells so sweet and romantic. So added some curls to my hair. Ah. Let me bring y'all down a little bit more so y'all can see everything. Okay, hopefully y'all can see that. I don't have my I want my head to look long.
fucking Saturday. So it is New Year's Eve. Yeah, it's New Year's Eve. <laughs> and uh, we're just going to have like a little small hotel like fun thing. Not really go out. So I bought some decorations, y'all. So I literally bought some gold balloons. I blew them up. And then I got this super cute headband that says Happy New Year. And then, y'all, I tried to get this banner. So I got this from Amazon. All this stuff I got from Amazon. I got this from Amazon. They said it was a whole kit. It's supposed to say like, Happy New Year, girl. Why didn't it, it didn't come with no string, no tape, no nothing. And they said all in one kit. So they didn't send the rest of the kit. So it looks cute. I, I might just splatter it across the like table or something, but like for real, this would have been cute to have a little photo in it, you know, like this. But what is a girl going to do? But anywho, um, yeah, this is the headband. So last night we had went to dinner and it was pretty good. So it was actually a restaurant that's in the Monica Hotel. I never stayed at the hotel, but the restaurant looks beautiful. The food, I say it was good, but I personally don't think that it was worth the price. Like, I feel like the worth of the food is maybe two thirds of what they were charging for it, but you know, whatever. Um, so yeah, happy new year. Well, almost. Hey y'all, happy Sunday. I'm getting ready to go to the mall. I'm going to Tyson's mall. So they have like a, um, I guess like a normal mall that has like nice things. And then they have like a luxury mall that has like Gucci, Prada, Louis, all that. I'm going to the normal mall because I want to check out Zara and then I also want to check out Aritzia. So yeah, let me do a quick outfit of the day. I have this cute sweater on from H&M. And then I have the skirt from Zara that I've been loving. So I kind of stepped it into the skirt. Now this skirt is too big for my waist. Let me see if I can get a better view. So it is too big for my waist. So I'm going to um, get it tailored. So I like how it flares out like that. And it's too big. Like I can wear it as a, like a drop waist, which is fine too. But today I'm going to wear it up here. And I probably typically will wear it up here. So that's why I'm going to get it tailored. I got these stockings on from Calcedonia. And then um, my bag, let me pull y'all back up. My bag is my favorite bag from Amazon because if my hands get tired, I can just wear it as a crossbody. My scent today, Valentino. And then the boots, I don't know where I got these boots from. I'm going to find the link and link them in the description box to check them out. Um, I'll probably do like a full body thing here, but just to get a close up of the boots. They're like two-tone platform boots. They're really comfy. I actually lectured in these before for two straight hours. Yeah, so, you know, they definitely are comfy, but I love them. Oh, do a little screenshot. Okay. Alright. Y'all, this Zara looks horrible. The whole store looks like the sales section. Look at this, like, this is what the entire store looks like. This is crazy. These are cute. Hey y'all, so I just got back from dinner and um, I'm taking off my makeup. So our mall trip got cut very short. Um, something crazy happened when we, was at, when we were at the mall. So we end up going to Tyson's Corner Mall, which is the mall that has the Zara and the H&M and Aritzia. And while I was shopping at this one store, I don't even know what it's called. It's a store I've never been into before, but it looked really cute. And I was uh, just looking at some stuff and um, 
we were in there just, you know, looking around. I was on a cute little date. And I looked back and I seen like people running. And then people in the store with me, we're, we looked for a second and then I swear it was like, this all happened in like three seconds. Someone was like, he got a gun. Everybody just started running, running. And um, an employee ended up saying, I'm using a makeup eraser. Look how quick it takes the makeup to come off. The, one of the employees was like, no, go to the exit, go to the exit. So I think it's a rule that every store has like an exit, like there's more than one way to enter the vicinity. I know that's like, yeah, I think that's like a safety hazard for all like rooms or something like that, specifically for places of business. Um, so we went out that way and walked around and then stuff like that, but it was really scary in the moment. Um, like when you see these news channels, you'll be like, oh, you know, mall shooting. You're like, dang, that's crazy, that's crazy. But when you're in it, it's crazy scary, you know? Um, I definitely didn't panic uh, because, uh, you know, I was with, um, I was on a date and, uh, you know, I wasn't by myself and he definitely helped, so, you know? And he led me to safety, which was good. You know, our cute little date turned into something crazy. But what ended up happening is somebody robbed a jewelry store and they used a hammer. Apparently they used like smash and grab things. They used a hammer and smashed a glass. And I guess it was so loud, people thought it was gunshots. Regardless, even them smash, smashing a glass, that's still scary. But someone thought it was gunshots. So then that just caused all these other people to think it was gunshot and it just transferred all the way throughout the entire mall and everybody just started running. And shout out to this, um, I think this was an employee of the store that I was in. She was like, go out the exit, go out the exit, go out the exit, don't look back, don't look back. Because a lot of people ran into the dressing rooms to hide. And I remember in trainings, you're supposed to run, hide, I think it's fight is the last one, or attack back. So run, hide, and basically fight the person if you can. So we basically ran. And I'm, I'm so thankful that I'm safe. So it wasn't a shooting. It was just someone stealing something and everyone else thought it was a shooting. But in that moment when all these people with children, elderly folks, everybody are just so scared because they think it's a shooting. And, you know, in America, it's not really a good time right now with, you know, am I allowed to say shooting on YouTube? I don't know. I'm sorry. I, hopefully this doesn't get like censored out or anything. But right now it's like a problem with all these shootings. And apparently at the same mall there was an at the same mall there was something that happened not like two weeks ago when someone robbed and there was like shootings and stuff. And I'm just like, dang, this is supposed to be like a nice area. Tyson's is supposed to be a really nice area. Not saying that bad stuff can happen in a nice area. I just did not expect it at all. Like at all. Anywho. See, this makeup eraser got all the makeup on there, so this is really good. So I'm going to get in a shower and wash up, but anywho, we still thought it was, we still thought it was a shooting. We didn't realize it was like a smash and grab thing until like an hour or so later when like people were tweet like the news, the police county tweeted out that it was, there were no fires and stuff like that. But you know, when you're in harm's way, you're trying to get out the way. So, yeah, y'all. I'm still a little shaken up about it because it's just it's so scary to think that you're in a situation like life and death like you never think this would happen to you so I can only imagine the people who are close up how they felt when they heard that um, because you know smashing a thick glass with a hammer I'm sure it was really really loud and they were like scared there were people with baby carriages children in her hand and people were just running and running and I'm, I'm hoping nobody got hurt but it was crazy I just hope no one got hurt and yeah crazy. 
Hey y'all, so I'm back home. I decided to go to the grocery store to get a fresh start in a new year. So I'm going to eat a lot of salads the next three days. I usually do a juice cleanse, but this time I've decided to just do a quick cleanse with like a, some vegan salad. So I'm going to make some salad dressing using lemons. And I got some arugula, cucumbers, and tomatoes. I just want to do that for three days just to you know, rebuke my system because I have been eating so bad. But y'all, I wanted to show y'all these hand sanitizer wipes. I love these so much. Like, using these, these are gentle enough on my eczema, on my hands, and then um, I always wash my hands, you know, throughout the day, but if I'm in a pinch, like I'm about to walk to my car and I wanna wipe my hands off after touching the door or something like that, I use these wipes and um, they're really gentle on my hands, so. Oh, it actually says gentle on hands. That's crazy. <laughs> Y'all, I am so lazy. So, um, I just got done grocery shopping. I am getting Panera to go uh, curve sap because um, I'm too lazy to even go in this, any other store to get anything else. That's plain and simple. I'm just being lazy right now. I got my Starbucks. So I think this guy, is this guy bringing my food? Dang, they fast. Hello, good. Thank you, you too. <clears throat> Y'all, Panera curbside do not play. So I just got my food. So, yeah, I decided to get this because I also because I had a gift card. So, I am doing the January challenge. Anybody can join in. Um, so I'm doing a no spend challenge. So, I am doing not spending any money besides like paying bills and stuff like that. But I'm also going to have a hundred dollar weekly allowance for self care and making sure I only eat out once a week and eating out still takes into account um like if i get grubhub or uber eats or something like that but again you have a hundred dollar weekly allowance for self-care like if you if you don't have like the best day at work or something like that and you really need a coffee or something like that you got a hundred dollars to go to starbucks you don't use the, like don't have a goal of using the entire a hundred dollars every week okay so that's what I'm doing. I do have a disclaimer, y'all, because I will be celebrating my friend's birthday, which I know that we're going to eat out more than one time. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to use like two weeks of my $100 like allowances. I'm going to shift that for the birthday celebration and stuff like that. So I don't feel like, you know, bad. But yeah, that's what I'm going to do for January. And just like refresh, no, no spin challenge. I'm starting my like veggie cleanse or whatever for the next three days. Like I'm feeling pretty good. I'm excited for 2023. Happy New Year's, y'all. Hey, y'all, I'm back. So it is Tuesday evening. Yes, it's Tuesday the days have been like merging since like before Christmas till now. Um, yeah, so I start work back tomorrow. Woo woo. So that should be fun. Um, yeah, so it's Tuesday evening. I got this bag in the mail. Oh, MGZ. So my aunt, she bought me a bag for Christmas. But it didn't come in town and um, y'all, I tore, look at my hands, y'all. So while I was at the hotel, I washed my hand constantly. And then in the airport, you know, I was washing, hand sanitizing, and I didn't put lotion back on. So my eczema is kind of flaring up. Let me put some lotion on right now. That is not fun. But anywho, um, oh, so I just talked about the hotel. The hotel was wonderful. I would definitely stay again. 
um, there was someone in the morning that was working there. They really didn't know how to do things. Like, you know how you go to a hotel and you, you put a card down when you book, but you may want to switch your card out um, to another card when you check out. And so uh, that's what I wanted to do, but uh, the pers front desk person there who was in the morning didn't know how to do that. So um, that was the only, I guess, thing that was like not great, but that issue was resolved. It, but the thing is we just, I had to wait like a couple of hours until someone else was able to come and do it. But other than that, the hotel stay was great. The staff were really, really nice. The room was beautiful. Um, I got some room service, just desserts, because when you book straight through the hotel, they give you like a $25 credit or something like that at their restaurant. So I had cake and then there was a milkshake. It, uh, both were really, really good. Um, but yeah, hotel was nice and cl clean. It was very aesthetically pleasing and I loved it. 10 out of 10, um, I would definitely stay again. So yeah, all right, back to the bag. Back to the serious stuff. So my aunt bought me this bag from Rebecca Minkoff. Minkoff is spelled M-I-N-K-O-F-F. -F. So I'm gonna uh, link the bag below. <laughs> Because during for Christmas, she gave me, she don't show me the bag that I got. Um, and not the actual bag because it delivered after Christmas. So now I'm back home and I got it. So I wanted to open it with y'all. So this is called the MAB Bitty Bag, I believe. Oh, it's cute, y'all. It is freaking cute. Okay, so this is the silver color. It comes in red, comes, I believe it comes in black, and then it comes in a, like a cognac color. It is a crossbody bag. <laughs> I'm so excited. This bag is so cute. So actually, it's $2.98, and I just, I checked the website. It's basically half off right now. It's like $1.49 or something like that. So let me remove all this stuff off of here. Yeah, I really appreciate them um, wrapping all of their hardware up so there's no like scratching. Y'all, this bag is cute. So this is like a silver color. Yeah. This is so cute. It kind of reminds me of like a a, a city city bag like um like I think it's Balenciaga city bag a little bit with all the like hardware so this is the strap they it didn't come on they just had this like plastic thingy here so I'm gonna rip it off Okay, so this is the crossbody strap. The hardware is silver. They definitely protected it for shipping. Y'all, this is the bag. Oh my gosh. Isn't that the cutest thing? Like, look at those, these details. <laughs> this is a cute bag. Okay, so it looked like this. And then I'm gonna put the straps on. So I may or may not wear it as a crossbody, but the thing is, I'm still gonna put the straps on because I like the way bags look with a crossbody strap, but it's like just dangling, you know, down. I don't know, I just think it's so cute. Like. Y'all, I, I love this bag. Oh my gosh. Oh, thanks, so Jackie. <laughs> this is so 
so cute. Um, of course, the bag, um, the cross, uh, cross body strap can get bigger. So let me figure it out. Y'all, they was not playing about their, uh, their hardware on this bag because they even wrapped the hardware inside of this. Okay, so this is how it goes. It's little buttons. Ooh, I love that. Girl, they wrap <laughs> this, like inside of here, they wrap it. Kudos to them for securing the bag. Oh my goodness. Okay, so it's a snap. Move this up, take this paper off. Okay, so let's see how we make this bigger. Oh, wow, that was so, that is so cool. Okay, did y'all see that? So there's two things here. You pull it and then you can button it instead of like um, putting like a hole and things like that. It's just snap buttons. So you can wear it at different, um, different lengths. But I'm gonna snap it to the original length because that's how I'm going to wear it. Y'all, this bag, oh my gosh. Sorry, all my nails is in the way. Okay. This the bag, but see how you put it down here and it just gives a whole different look to the bag. And I love bags this size or even smaller, but I feel like this is perfect. So y'all, they, they took care of their stuff. Okay, so this is a flat pair. There's no like pocket there, but here is a pocket. You can probably put your ID in there, put some gum, put some hand sanitizer. Okay, now what this do? Ooh, okay, so you can put something in here. So, I don't know, your passport? Whatever you want, girl. And then this, the zipper. Okay, so, ooh, it does come with a dust bag, which is nice. So I've been into putting my stuff in dust bags now. Um, I guess before I didn't, but once I've seen the damage that can be done to stuff, oh, this dust, <coughs> oh, oh, oh my goodness. So once I've seen all like the damage that can be done to things in your suit, in your like suitcase while traveling, I'll be putting uh, my stuff in dust bags, dust. Dust bags, yeah. All right, girl, they even wrapped the tag. <laughs> they was not playing. So this is the MAB Biddy Color Silver. Can y'all see that? There you go. And then that was the original price there. I don't know if y'all can see, but it says $2.98 is the retail price. But again, it's on, I just checked this site. It's on sale for $149. Um, they even wrapped the metal, the metal things inside the bag too. Got little dry beads here so the bag doesn't get moist. And then this is the inside of the bag, nice and roomy. Y'all, y'all think I should do a whole separate video for this? Like, I did a whole separate video for my stop mood bag, and surprisingly, like, people like that. And I was like, oh, I didn't realize so many people were interested in it. Because when I was trying to look for this, like, how this bag looked on other people, I couldn't find much out there. I mean, not, yeah, yeah when I was looking at this bag. So I only went on, I went on her Instagram page and I seen like a reel of a girl with this bag and she looked so cute, but that was it. So maybe I'll do one. Okay, so it has like a little, you know, little change part here where you put like your sanitary napkins. But, ooh, okay, and there's something on the back too, y'all. 
they secured this bag, okay? So here's another pocket here. It's just so many pockets. And I really don't even carry this much stuff. I literally bring my lotion, hand sanitizer, and chapstick. And then my finishing spray if I'm wearing foundation. Oh, of course my ID, yeah. But yeah, oh my gosh, I'm so happy about this. Y'all, okay, let me do a little screenshot. Okay, so y'all, oh, I forgot to tell y'all about, um, I'm, I'm stuffing this back up. So I forgot to tell y'all about the one restaurant I went to. It's called Amber and it's in DC as well. Like the food was delicious. So it's a chain restaurant. Um, we went to the one in Arlington and we had went right after the, the mall incident and we still didn't realize, like we still thought it was a shooting incident and not like, you know, a smash and grab. So, um, you know, when we got there, we were early, hour early for our appointment, well, our reservation. And when I came in, I just told her, I said we're an hour early because of, you know, there was a suspected shooting at the mall. And um, the lady, the hostess, the person who sat us, she felt so bad for us. And she um, gave us uh, free, free drinks. And I was just like, oh my gosh, thank you. Um, the customer service was wonderful. Um, food was delicious. So it is, I looked this up because I didn't want to pronounce it wrong, but it's called Balkans. B-A-L-K-A-N-S. That's the, uh, type of dishes that were served at the restaurant. So you basically pay, well, you can buy dishes individually, but we wanted the experience. So we basically got an all you can eat for one price and they just come out with small dishes of anything on the menu. And everything that we had was so good. And we basically tried maybe half the menu and literally everything. And there was one thing I was skeptical about, which was the eggplant. But when when I ate it, I was like, oh my gosh, this is good. Because it was like eggplant and it had like nuts on it. And then it was like it's little pieces of dried fruit. I'm not sure what type of fruit it is. And I was like, um, I don't know. Like I like eggplant, but not like that much. But when I tried it, I was like, oh my goodness, this is good. So everything was good. The drinks were good. The service was good. Like, I would definitely go back there. Definitely, definitely. I would give it, like, because of service and food, the atmosphere was great, too. I would give it, like, a 9, 9 out of 10. And um, I would say the restaurant that we ate at the other day, which was called Dirty Habit, I would give that place maybe 7 out of 10. Yeah, seven out of ten. But the Amber Place was really, really great. I don't know if I said we went to the one in Arlington, VA, and it was good. It was good vibes. Um, I will definitely go again. So yeah, so that's it for we can we can we can I say we can vlog, but obviously it's Tuesday. It's no longer the weekend, so extended weekend vlog. <laughs> I'm just going to, oh, 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 one other thing I want to show y'all. I got a little gift. I wanted to try this perfume so bad. Oh, my goodness. So, um, the uh, Kaoli perfume. This is called the Love Fest Burning Cherry. Hopefully, I pronounced that right. If I pronounce it wrong, please forgive me. Um, I'm sorry. And uh, this is called the Love Fest Burning Cherry. Smells so good. I wanted a cherry smelling perfume. So this is my first one. It has burning cherry, raspberry, praline, Palo Santo, uh, some type of wood. There you go. And then patchouli. But it definitely gives a sweet uh, cherry scent. Like I originally got this cherry blossom because I wanted the cherry scent. 
but it that wasn't the cherry scent I was looking for, although I still like that perfume. This is the sweet cherry scent I was looking for. It smells really, really great. I can't wait to wear this going somewhere. I don't know where I'm going to go, but I'm going to put this on maybe this weekend or something. But yeah, I'm going to put that up there. I think the bottle is beautiful too. Let me just show y'all. Isn't that so cute? Oh, girl, let me smell again. So it's like a light cherry scent. Um, I do smell like the woodsy in there, but it's not like manly. It's like just enough. So it's not like too sweet, like bubble gum, but it's sweet, but the woodiness mellows it out and doesn't make it smell like, you know, like a childish perfume where it's like candy sweet. And it's romantic. Hmm. I can't wait to wear it. See? I'm in love. It's called Love Fest. I'm in love. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, yeah, that's all I wanted to say about this, but I'm really happy about my scent collection is really coming up right now. Um, I think I already did a video of all the scents that i have that i've been wearing and i guess this is the newest one that i didn't feature in that video so yeah i don't have a huge perfume collection because i just want to wear the scent i only want to have the scents that i'm actually going to wear i just don't want to keep buying buying and buying and then also because of my like eczema and allergies and stuff like that once when I smell a scent in the store and I have a, like a weird reaction to it, I'm just like, mm -mm, that ain't for me. Like, but this one is like soft. So hopefully when I spray it on, it doesn't give me a bad reaction. Fingers crossed, y'all. Okay, well, that's it. I'm getting ready to go to bed. Please like this video if you like it and give it a, give it a thumbs up. And let me know what your favorite scent is right now. Maybe I'll go try some more out. So yeah. That's all, y'all. Peace and love. Happy New Year.